We discussed temporary validation in Module 1, but let's do a quick review. Temporary validation may be performed under certain circumstances by a doctor or nurse currently licensed in the state of Florida. After they evaluate your skills, they will complete a temporary validation certificate which is good for the specific client and is valid for no more than 30 days. If you don't have a temporary validation certificate, they may use their letterhead, but there is specific information that must be included. Please refer to your notes for the circumstances when a temporary validation is appropriate and the information that must be included if the validation is documented on letterhead. The best practice is to always have a copy of the temporary validation certificate with you whenever you take your client to a doctor's appointment, to the emergency room, or urgent care. I would like you to be on the lookout for the professionals who can complete your temporary validation certificate, when you would need the certificate, and restrictions associated with the temporary validation certificate. A temporary validation certificate is completed when the doctor orders a medication by a new route and there are no maps that are validated for that route. A few things you need to remember are below. One, the certificate is only good for a specific route, client, and map. If you have a temporary certificate, you are only able to help the client whose name is on the certificate. Two, you need to contact a validation trainer and schedule to validate for the new route. After the validation for the new route is recorded on your Basic Medication Administration Validation Certificate, you may administer or supervise that route for any client. 3. The maximum amount of time a temporary validation is good for is 30 days. 4. The doctor or nurse, MD, DO, RN, LPN, APRN, may use the doctor's letterhead, but specific information is required and a copy of the temporary certificate form must be attached. It's best practice to always keep copies of the form available when you take a client to a doctor's appointment. 5. You may validate for the enteral route of medication administration, but temporary validation is not available for prescribed enteral formula administration. Remember, the temporary validation certificate is good for only one map, only one client, only one route, and good for a maximum of 30 days. Please take a few minutes to look over the completed form. Remember, only physicians and nurses may perform medication administration skills validations. A physician's assistant, PA, and medical assistants, MAs, are not permitted to do your temporary validation. Please be sure you call your validation trainer as soon as you can and schedule for validation of the new route.